Okay guys, in this tutorial, you can see BitLocker, my system drive, C drive is uh, BitLocker protected and I forgot the pin. When I press the escape key, it can ask me for recovery key. I forgot the recovery key also. I do not have a pin and I do not have a recovery key also. Press the escape key again, it is preparing for the BitLocker recovery. You can see again I'm getting the windows like this. Enter the recovery key to get going on. So I do not have a, another option. You can see skip this drive. Now this is the option I got to skip. So I do not have any other option. If I click on continue, it won't go. So I'll have to skip this. Now how do I get access to my PC. So what are you guys gonna do? Just turn off your PC. Now you got to enter your BIOS setting. So how? Maybe uh, some PC has a different function key to enter the BIOS. So you might be using a different brand. Some uh, PC supports F2 key. Some PC supports Dell key. Some PC supports F12 key. F11 key. So you can uh, just Google it and check your brand uh, how do you enter the bias in your PC ok guys suddenly I googled it and I found my key, PC supports F1 key so let me power on and this time I'm going to try F1 key and here it is it's a bias setting so in BIOS setting, what are you guys going to do? You are going to choose security. Maybe you have the latest version of BIOS and your BIOS look different. Somebody going to find security. Inside security, you are going to find this secure boot. You can see it's disabled. You just have to enable it. Click on yes, you can see it's enabled. That's it. Press F10 key in your keyboard. You have to press F10 key. Okay guys, as soon as you press F10 key, it is going to give you the a couple of options whether you want to save and exit. So you are going to choose yes to save and exit. Choose yes and press enter key. And then after try to boot your PC. Okay guys, sometime enabling and disabling a secure boot help you to get access to your PC and then later on you can go to the control panel and you can change the pin or back up your recovery key get the another recovery key again let's say enabling and disabling the secure boot did not help you it might not be helpful for almost all your PC all your laptops all your brands so in that case what can you do the second option is press the escape key again it's gonna ask you for the recovery key and then now press the escape key once again So when you press the escape key once again, now you will get this window. When you click on continue, it is again asking for the recovery key, so skip this. Now you are going to click on troubleshoot and reset this PC. Resetting the PC will wipe out almost uh, everything. Your PC will be like factory reset new PC. So whether you want to keep your files or remove everything, so you know, keep my files and try to reset this PC. The drive where Windows install is locked and unlock the drive and try again so this is the message you are getting when you try to reset uh, the PC just try to reset again okay this time remove everything again getting there was problem resetting this PC so even the resetting PC do not work this was the second option you could try so you tried enabling and disabling the secure boot you forgot uh, your pin and you forgot your recovery uh, key for your bit locker encryption so tried enabling and disabling a secure boot tried second option was resetting that also did not work go to troubleshoot again go to advanced option this time we'll try to go back to the previous build so even uh, this is the same, uh, next thing that you can try going back to the previous build 
so if this works for you you can just try this one if this also do not work for you guys go to the troubleshoot advanced option and here is the system image recovery startup setting system restore so you're gonna try this system restore so click on the system restore and you're gonna look for your restore point if any restore point you have created before creating a or before enabling a bit locker you can take your system to that point of time so I did not create any restore point or I do not have any way I can restore my PC to any point in the back time so again troubleshoot advanced option so we tried this also so different thing that you can try I hope one the either method will help you guys if none of the method work the last option is you have to format your PC with a USB bootable USB or a DVD so system restore also do not work for you guys or you do not have any restore point you never created a restore point before enabling a bit locker the next thing you can try is system image recovery so let's say you have saved some time your uh, key you will be saving somewhere in your PC let's say in D drive E drive you might have saved somewhere uh, your bit locker key and you do not have over here in your hand right now so what you're gonna do you just need a bootable you don't have to boot you just need a bootable USB flash drive just insert it even DVD works just insert it insert it and now you just try to boot it from this USB flash drive so now you try to boot from your USB flash drive or a DVD so once you do that you're gonna click on next now so we'll not be booting just click on repair your computer it's gonna take you to this click on troubleshoot and then you're gonna click on system image recovery so it is asking you for the key again so skip this drive okay once you skip it it's gonna take you to this click on cancel sometimes it will take you to this page directly you don't have to skip click on next click on advance click on installer driver click on ok and you get this page so this works when you have uh, saved somewhere into your system you can see this PC so this is a system reserve this is my pen drive and this is uh, the file that I have in my pen drive and this is a system drive E and so when I click on E it's not opening so it is locked this is your system drive C drive or bit locker so you can see you can give access to advanced setting include library format create rename properties so this is your C drive where you have a system files so currently it is showing zero bytes so this is your C drive where exactly it is showing the system files here I have F drives uh, you can see it's 19.1 GB so new folder you can see here is where I have saved the bit locker key so it's not opening now give a right click on it and then click on edit so once you click on edit you're gonna see this page just uh, create some space okay here it is you can see here's a recovery key you can just make a note of this recovery key somewhere in your paper so in some piece of paper you can just uh, make a note of this uh, recovery key so you just note down the recovery key somewhere in a paper and then after you can close everything so this is uh, the case gonna help you when you have a recovery key you have saved somewhere into your system and outside uh, you are not being able to log in uh, so let's say you have printed somewhere or you have saved somewhere you have lost it uh, you have lost your USB flash drive but you have a one copy in your system you can get access in this way click on cancel close everything and finally now you just uh, go back Just turn off your PC. Okay, it's gonna ask you for the pin. Escape it. 
press the escape key in your keyboard once you press, press the escape key in your keyboard ESC it can ask you for the recovery key now so you have made a note of recovery key in a sheet of paper you just enter the recovery key over here and then you can get access to your PC now none of the method works the one last option is because even command prompt is not going to work over here it can ask you for the recovery key so there were all these options that you can try so you don't have a pin you don't have a recovery key you have want uh, saved somewhere one copy of your file in your system so none of the method is working for you the last option is try to boot your pc from pen drive manually now so here also it is asking you for a recovery key so when you click on troubleshoot now something else that you have over here to try is command prompt when you click on command prompt it will open the command prompt so this is the command prompt uh, so this is not your uh, windows command prompt okay guys i thought command prompt will not open but it's opening but even after opening the command prompt there is no option what you can do in a command prompt is nothing like that so here it is so this is not your so one thing that you can do over here is okay just uh, check a different drive so this is a one drive so when you get inside c drive and press d i r key so you don't have anything in the c drive so it's a e drive colon so you can see the drive is locked by a bit locker drive encryption you must unlock this drive unlock this drive from control panel so you have to unlock this drive in order to get access to this drive and do something so in order to unlock through command prompt you need a recovery key or a pin so what you guys going to do now the last option is you have to format your pc none of the method work finally at the end you have to format your pc you have to format your c drive and boot again fresh install with a bootable usb flash drive or a dvd so alternate and unless you can get inside e drive you cannot do anything you cannot copy files you cannot move files from e drive you can edit the files in the e drive so e drive is completely locked and you are not get trying being able to get inside e drive so the final the last option is close it and restart your pc turn off Okay guys now we'll do the first installation this is only the last option click on install now setup is starting Okay guys now it can ask you for the product key so if you have the product key you can enter or you can enter later on click on i do not have a product key so you just gonna enter it later on Now Here you have Windows 10 Home, Windows 10 Home single language. Here you got Windows 10 Pro. You can install any version of Windows you want. Click on Next. Accept the license terms and conditions. Click on Next. Click on Custom Install. Select the drive where you would like to install. You can see. showing some issue what is the issue okay gpt and mrb issue so in that case we going to delete everything if you are getting any kinds of error messages like this we going to delete everything see it won't allow you. no next option if uh, windows cannot install on the drive zero So what we're going to do just delete it it can't in install so we delete it see it cannot install windows cannot install so delete everything i'll just delete all no partition at all just one partition now i create a new partition of this one partition let me create a 100 gb 1024 and 00 max 100 gb apply click on okay Okay guys now no issue you can see 
now I'll just give it a new apply so we got to format all format this also so both our system reserved just leave it we formatted it we formatted it now no error message I can install it click on next now copy files give a moment to install when it is all done you are all the way ready to go you're gonna choose the language just choose the language okay you're gonna choose the reason you can choose any reason you like your date and time will be set according to that only now you're gonna choose keyboard layout you can add layout or skip now you're gonna choose your network you want to connect you can connect or uh, click on I do not have internet you will add it later on so continue with the limited setup or connect now so continue with the limited setup we will connect it later on so give a name to your PC click on next password so I would like to skip the password no we can skip the password so put some password click on next put the password again next okay no security questions are required so pet name I'll put G O K security question C T R A I click on security question 3 childhood name D I E M next accept only you are almost done except okay guys you are almost done it is getting ready you can see guys almost getting ready okay guys here you go here is your brand new installed windows 10 pc so this was the last option you could do for your bit lock or locked device reinstalling so guys if you like this tutorial be sure to hit the like button subscribe and comment everything is gone wiped out your PC is like a new install and leave a comment whether you like it or not and subscribe to my channel catch you in the next tutorial have a good day